Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was two significant earthquakes there in the state of Washington. You can see here we got Seattle. Let me shrink this down a little bit so you can... Oh, went the wrong way. These both were about, uh, about 10 miles in depth and they're measured from sea level east of Seattle. The first earthquake, which was a magnitude 3.4, occurred at 7.11 local time. And then the second one was about 4.41 um, a.m. local time. There was no moment tensor ball given, more than likely, is because of the uh, North American plate putting pressure moving west. Um, hopefully that's what it was and not activation of the Seattle Fault, which can be more devastating than the Cascadia Fault, mostly because of the population. Hopefully it wasn't a sign that the Seattle Fault is gearing up for a major earthquake. Yeah, we can only pray. 1,230 people reported feeling the magnitude 3.4. It was felt over a large area. You can see it here. We got Olympia and Rife Lake, and I'm not sure. I hate it when they cover up the names of the areas where people report feeling it. USGS does not give testimonies, but here on the European uh, site, EMSC. Uh, here, six kilometers from the center, it says it was a quick rumbling quiver. Um, eight kilometers from the location, we felt a light shaking for five seconds. Another report says it was up and down, then lateral, quick shallow shaking. Another report says it felt larger than a 3.4, was more abrupt than the usual rollers we feel here. Very sharp and abrupt. Well, it sounds like it was a quick popping of the rock from tension that's built up. Yeah, I really wish we had a moment tensor ball to know if it was, in fact, the uh, Seattle fault or um, a different fault line. You know, that's very important to know so uh, we can prepare and know what to expect maybe in the future. Sharp jolt, then rolling for more than a second. Which way was the movement? Yeah. Dogs noticed, but were night frightened. House swayed significantly, but duration was extremely short. One sway back and forth. 30 kilometers from the center of the earthquake. So that would be about 19 miles away from where the earthquake occurred. They said they heard it coming, then the house snapped. That sound that they heard was the initial first wave of the earthquake called the P wave. The P wave is what people hear prior to the shaking. Another report felt like a truck hit our house. It was like the whole house lurched, then immediately settled. I've experienced several earthquakes, but none this abrupt. Yeah, not a good sign. Also, according to EMSC, it was about it was about 26 miles east of Seattle. Now that's a 3.5. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that 3.4. Yeah, often you'll see um, sinkholes, ponds. Um, in areas where a fault line runs. Let's bring this out. There's the 3.0. We got another um, pond, marsh, whatever there. Another one there. And I'll bring it out and pull it over. Yeah. Okay, so if you look at these earthquakes here, the two, the 3.4 and the 3.0, go all the way across. Yeah, this is that Seattle fault line. Um, I talked about this area before, the fault scarp. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why they didn't do um, a moment tensor ball. You know, if people know of the danger of this fault line that runs through here, uh, maybe they'd be more apt to prepare for some type of major earthquake. So 202 people reported the 3.0. Most people were probably sleeping because that was 4.41 a.m. local time unless they were getting up, you know, ready for work early. Different felt reports. 
Yeah, all the way down here by University Palace. Yeah, I'll bring this up. And Lake Stevenson. Um, is that Warren Beach? I'm not sure. This 3.0 could have been as high as 3.53. 3.54, 3.50, well that one's definitely not working right, 8.74, that must have been right on top of where the earthquake occurred to register that. EMSC has reports saying they heard it coming and then a big jolt, heard it coming then a big jolt, uh, very similar to the one nine hours before, just a quick shake not initially recognized as an earthquake that's all they have for reports in the last week there's been 11 earthquakes in this area looks like we got another one yeah i bet you there's a fault moving through here most recent was a 2.0 13 kilometers in depth that would be 8.0 miles in depth and then this one near the fault uh that one is a 1.1 that was also today um 22.3 kilometers in depth yep right along that fault zone let me bring it out see there's that fault zone it goes right through here in the seattle fault i'm gonna jump to the conclusion that um yeah we got activation of the seattle fault now Large earthquakes can trigger earthquakes on other fault zones. Yeah. Now, Toe Jam Hill Fault Scarp. What that is is major uplift uh, from a mega thrust earthquake where they have the ground that jumps up really high. Yeah, this fault line is something new that the scientists have uh, learned about recently. Using ground penetrating radar, they were able to... Uh, look at it and follow it and yeah if you go to wikipedia i'll explain more about this fault zone um it's the east west thrust f thrust fault it crosses the puget sound low land and through seattle in the vicinity of highway 90. it was first recognized as a significant hazard in 1992 when a set of reports showed that about 1,100 years ago, it was a scene of a major earthquake of a magnitude 7, an event that entered Native American oral legend. There was landslides, uh, yeah, major disturbances in the water. Indian legends talked about how two spirits, uh, a snake in the uh, waters and an eagle from the mountains, because when that earthquake occurred, the mountains... Yeah, they didn't erupt. The volcanoes didn't erupt, but they roared. This first suspect, this fault line was suspected because of gravitational anomalies in 1965 and an uplift of marine terrace at Restoration Point. Yeah, and then they finally got around to uh, investigating and decided in 1992 that, hey, you guys, we got a major problem here, a possible area for major destruction yeah if they had a moment tensor ball and they gave out the information that this fault line might be coming active which they should people should be prepared and they should have the knowledge to prepare and as i've said earthquakes have increased they've doubled or tripled actually um since the beginning of 2000 starting somewhere around 2014 earthquakes around the world have tripled so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you for subscribing thank you very much for your support yeah i just recently got re-monetized by youtube after being demonetized if you would like to support me i'm on patreon and i also have a paypal account merry christmas and happy holidays god bless you all bye